Howdy folks, Sharpie Point here today to talk to you about electrolyzers and what is the best configuration for your electrolyzers and how to keep a hydrogen generator operating at 100%. You'll see here I have four different setups or four different configurations. Configuration 1, Configuration 2, Configuration 3, and Configuration 4. In configuration one, I have the electrolyzer in the center and a gas pump onto the left and to the right. In configuration two, I again have the electrolyzer in the center with a gas pump on top and a gas pump on bottom. In configuration three, I have the electrolyzer on the bottom and two gas pumps on top. In configuration four, I have the electrolyzer on the bottom with three gas pumps above it. Now, the electrolyzer itself produces a total of 1,000 grams a second of gas. 888 of that gas is oxygen. 112 of it is hydrogen. So now that we know how exactly how much gas is emitted from the electrolyzer, you would think that if we look at our gas pump, our gas pump will transfer 500 kilograms a second. So, in theory, two gas pumps should be able to trans to move that amount of gas at any one time. However, there is some hidden factors that are that will play into that. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But right now, configuration 1 on my test produced 474 kilograms of oxygen and the generator hydrogen generator would be on and off it never was steady on in configuration 2 I produced 434 kilograms of oxygen and again the generator would be mostly off in configuration 3 I produced 463 kilograms of oxygen and the generator would cycle on and off. So configuration 1 and configuration 3 were pretty close to being about the same. However, in configuration 4 I got 480 kilograms of oxygen and the generator, as you can see here, is continuously running. So why is that? Well, when you split the atoms of water to its basic elements of hydrogen and oxygen, these gas pumps can only, can only transport one type of gas at one particular time. So if there's a section of oxygen, it'll take the oxygen. If it's hydrogen, it'll take the hydrogen. So that's why you're not able to get the full 1,000 at any one given minute. Now with three pumps we're able to remove 1500 kilograms of, of gas at any one time. So if you'll notice one of these gas pumps will actually turn itself off because it has no gas around it. That allows us to keep this electrolyzer running at hundred percent all the time. And if there's any hydrogen is, that is created it's immediately pumped out of the system and over here to the generator. Now this generator is actually controlled by a gas valve and it's set at 112 which is the maximum that the that the electrolyzer will produce. So as this gas as this hydrogen is being used up it will store a, a small amount into its here. Now I do have an additional hydrogen generator as you can see next to the first one. If you don't allow enough hydrogen, once this hydrogen fills up, the excess hydrogen will be used up by this hydrogen generator. The hydrogen generator consumes 100 grams a second of hydrogen. So that's why you need like a little bypass or an overflow for that extra hydrogen. Otherwise your hydrogen would, do, would build up and into your pipe and have nowhere to flow. 
of then eventually it'll cascade effect will happen to where you're no longer producing any more oxygen and if you have any other ideas of how to come up with a good use for an electrolyzer I'd like to hear from you please leave a comment down below good or bad doesn't matter I'll still read them all until next time thanks for watching take care of yourselves and each other